What's up, you damn gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful gamers? So welcome back to Role Playing Games. This is Mary Alcona. In the internet, where we would like to discuss about RPGs. If you like the content, if you like to have these conversations with Mary Old James, I would very much like to invite you to hit the like button because it really helps me like you have no idea. And also subscribe to my channel. Most of the people that watch my content are in fact not subscribed to my channel. That being said, enchantments. <laughs> Enchanting your items in Outworld. It can be a pain in the ass because Outward doesn't really tell you how to get the materials, Outward doesn't tell you anything, but that is why I am here. I am going to teach you how to form the materials to enchant your gear in less than an hour. It, it really is not that complex. So what do we need to enchant our gear? Well to enchant our gear we need incenses and we make incenses by using a uh, two dreamers root and a specific elemental particle. Now there are five different elemental particles. There are actually more complex instances, but we're not going to talk about them because those require using instances as base. These instances that I am going to teach you how to form and how to craft, but other materials in the world, dungeons and so on and so forth. For now, we're focusing on our basic instances, which are usually what I always use to start enchanting my gear. Like I said, there are all different kind of instances. As you can see, we have Admiral instance, we have Apollo instance. These are the most complex ones that I was speaking about, which require a specific instance, a particle, and then these little precious stones that we are going to need as well. We're not going to be speaking about them, we're going to speak about the basic ones. Dreamer's Root. How do I get, get Dreamer's Root? Well, essentially, you have to walk through these little holes that you can see scattered all around uh, the antique plateau. And ideally, they are going to be here, like you can see right here in this little footage that I have for you on screen. They are going to be scattered. Be sure to be keeping your to give your eyes on the little holes that you find in the ground that is mostly where you're going to find them now the elemental particles the elemental particles we are going to get them from elementals a specific kind of elemental they are scattered all throughout the antique plateau but especially this little light that you see right here this is going to tell you where you're going to find them this light that I that you see me pointing, that you see me facing at, is right here. This specific point that I have on the map, up here on the northern part of the map, we have Harmatan. And all you have to do is go outside, go all around this way, and then face this thing. Now, that flame that you see right there, it's always going to tell me something. It's going to tell me what kind of elemental do I have available on the map. That is because there is going to be a different kind of elemental spawning on the map, spawning on the antique plateau, depending on that little uh, flame that you see right there on the bottom. As you can see, we have the blue flame, which means that a blue elemental has spawned up here. I want you to take a look at this map that I have right here. I want you to take a screenshot. I will have a specific name for the specific areas of the elemental that you are going to find here but this is going to be the blue elemental this is going to be the red elemental this is going to be the green elemental this is going to be the purple elemental and this is going to be the yellow elemental i believe this one has light particles ether particles ether particles so on and so forth you can make five kind of instances with basic elemental particles and then you can upgrade them to make more complex enchantments using precious stones, like I told you before. But this is what we are going to focus right now. When that thing is blue, that means that I have to go all the way up here. I want you to be very mindful that the elemental is not going to be on this specific point that I have right here. There is a light, there is a lantern, a blue lantern in this place. Elemental is not necessarily going to be there. 
you have to walk and explore all of this surrounding area as much as you can. And some of them can be a pain in the ass, because some of them are going to be hidden behind buildings or rocks or it's just it's just a pain in the ass to find some. The easier ones to find, in my opinion, are going to be the green ones, which are in the corrupted area, because hardly ever you will find them right here, and if you find them right here, it's just a um, linear area. But mostly, most of the cases, most of the time, they are going to be right here, which is a straight line pass. The only problem right there is that you are going to be needing Innocence Potions, because that is a corrupted area. But that is not that much of a deal, like, if you go there, you will find it very, very straightforward. The, this one, oh god. Please, you're being, you're being a cunt, sir. Huh? You're interrupting the video. Now I have to kill you real fast, so that we can continue the lesson rare. There. So. Oh god, you have to be f freaking kidding me, dude. This is not <laughs> happening. Anyways, like I was telling you guys, the purple uh, elementals that you are going to find in the Lake of Mana, they are not hidden anywhere. All you have to do is just walk around in Mana Lake. Now, if you manage to kill all of the elementals, they are going to spawn again, all of them right here on the Dobbin Plaza. They are going to be clustered together and you are going to get the chance to kill each one of them. At the minimum, each one is going to kill, it's going to give you two particles, which is going to provide you with the means of making, as you can see right here, four instances. Because I only need one particle, as you can see right here, to make, and of course, Dreamers Roots, to make four instances. And that is going to be the case for each and every single one of them. So now, I am going to take you on a trip with me to tell you, well, not actually, before we actually head outside, head out there, let me tell you something, something very important as well. Sometimes there will not be any flame whatsoever. If that flame is not lit, and that means that you have to wait seven days. Go back to Harmatan, wait for seven days, and then the light is going to respawn. In some other cases, if you believe that you have already killed that specific elemental, all you have to do, and let's say that you have already killed the blue one, and that uh, the flame is still blue, like you come back to this place and the flame is still blue, that only means that you have to uh, exit the game and then get back inside the game again, <laughs> pardon the redundance, and the flame is going to be different. That is all, mostly always going to be the case. When you go hunt an elemental and you come back, the flame is still going to be the same, as you can see right there. So you have to kill the elemental and then come back to this place and restart the game to move on to the next elemental. So right now, I will take you guys with me on a hunt to kill an elemental, to hunt an elemental. I will show you how to find them. And then we'll discuss a little bit about how do we actually reset for the next elemental. So as you can see, this is the blue lamppost that we were looking for. Like I told you, the elemental is not necessarily going to be close by. This is the place where we are right now. Remember that there's a blue flame right here, which means that there should be an, a blue elemental around here somewhere. I want to give you some advice. Do not actually... Uh, waste all of this time just trying to find the elemental gather stuff like this is uh, basically multitasking you can explore the world there's so many things out there uh, like I told you before these are the, where, where the roots are usually the little holes right here on, on the antique plateau but uh, kill enemies dude you, all you have to do in here is try to look for the elemental search behind rocks like I said most of the cases, the elementals are going to be assholes and they are going to be really, really well hidden. And just take the time to actually look for chests, look for loot, junk piles. 
gather as much stuff as you can, make use of your time exploring this little thing. And as you can see, um, I'm actually looking far and wide. I'm trying to look behind rocks because that goddamn elemental is so well goddamn hit. Oh, there it is. As you can see right there. There we have it. Sneaky bastard. And uh, another good, cool thing is that they are not uh, very resistant. They are not that strong. You won't actually have that much of a of a problem trying to kill these little guys. They are fairly easy to kill. And now I have two ice particles as well as, well as a mana stone, which is not bad. Now I am going to head over back there to show you what is the next step of our farming guide. I'll see you guys in a bit. As you can see, we're back here again, and as you can see again, found in redundance, the light is still colored blue. All we have to do, I just came back from the place that I killed the blue elemental. All I had to do is go back to the main menu and then log in back again into my game. Just continue, you don't actually have to do anything else. You don't actually have to exit completely from the game, from the launcher or whatever platform that you're, uh, that you're playing this thing on. All you have to do is launch back, load your game back, and the light should be different now. It should be a different one, which this should mean, as you can see, that I have a purple elemental right here on Lake Manor. Like I, the good thing about it all is that it took me like, I, I like to say 15 minutes, I guess, to find that elemental. Thanks to that, I got two particles i i have my dreamers root which you, as you were able to see you can gather them while exploring while trying to find the elementals and now i have my elemental particle i do have to to craft them in a alchemy station but this will give me um, I, I believe that i have not made ice ones it doesn't matter thing is that I can craft four instances, so I can craft for mm, like two or three enchantments. In 15 minutes, I was able to get, depending on the requirements of the enchantment that you're trying to make, it's going to take three instances, uh, sometimes four instances. Doesn't really matter because I, I mean, I just got unlucky. I got two particles, but ideally, you're going to get two to six so in one run you will be able to enchant a complete set of armor and weapon uh, do remember that if the light if the flame is not lit you have to wait seven days and remember to take a screenshot of this little thing which is going to tell you where to go to find the elementals that being said i hope that you guys find this video informative i hope that you guys find this video useful if you did please Help me with a like in the video, a subscription to the channel, and yeah, I'll see you got them gorgeous, beautiful people. Remember that if no one has told you today that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, you are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. Have a beautiful day, and stay safe out there. I will see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.